In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the slope of a line. Now, the formula that you need in order to calculate it is this equation. m is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x. So the slope of the line, you can calculate it by taking the rise of the line divided by the run. So what we need to do is identify two points on a line. Let's look at those two points, the x and y intercepts. To go from the first point to the second point, we need to rise two units, and then we need to run three units to the left, I mean to the right. So we have a rise of two and a run of three. So the slope is two over three. So that's one way in which you can calculate it. The other way is to find two points on the line and use this formula. M is equal to the change in Y, which is Y2 minus Y1 divided by the change in X, which is the difference in X values, X2 minus X1. So this point here, that's the Y intercept. It has an x value of 0 and a y value of 2. This point here is the x-intercept. It has an x value of negative 3 and a y value of 0. Now let's call this x1 and y1. And for the second point, this is going to be x2 and y2. So now let's plug in those numbers into this formula. y2 is 2 y1 is 0. x2 is 0 minus x1, which is negative 3. So the change in y, which is y2 minus y1, that's 2 minus 0, which is 2. And the change in x, or x2 minus x1, that's 0 minus negative 3. And whenever you have two negative signs next to each other, it's going to become positive. So it's 0 plus 3, which is 3. And so notice that we get the same answer, 2 over 3. So those are two ways that you can employ to calculate the slope of a line. Now let's try another example. So go ahead and pause the video and find the slope of this line. So the first thing we need to do is choose two points. And we have two points already highlighted for us. Now using these two points, let's find the slope of the line. So let's calculate it by using the rise over run method. Starting from this point and going to the second point, we need to travel down three units. So we have a rise of negative three. Now we got to move from left to right and travel four units to get to the second point. So we have a run of positive four. So the slope is going to be negative three over four. Now let's confirm it with the second method. So we're going to use the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So this point here has an x value of negative 2 and a y value of not 5, but 4. Now this other point on the right, it has an x value of 2 and a y value of 1. So this is going to be x1, y1, and then x2, y2. It really doesn't matter which one you label as x1, y1. The answer will still be the same in the end. Now, y1 is, I mean, y2 is 1, y1 is 4, x2 is 2 minus x1, which is negative 2. 1 minus 4, that's negative 3. 2 minus negative 2, that's the same as 2 plus 2, which gives us 4. So we get the same answer, negative 3 over 4. 
So those are two ways that you could use to find the slope of a line. But this one is a lot easier once you get the hang of it. Try this one. Go ahead and find the slope of the two lines that you see in this graph. The red line and the blue line. The red line is a horizontal line. And the slope of any horizontal line is always zero. The blue line is a vertical line. The slope for any vertical line is undefined. Now let's talk about why that's the case. So using rise over run, if you were to highlight two points on the horizontal line, to go from the first point to the second point, you're not going up or down. There is no rise. So the rise is zero. The run, it can vary. It could be, in this case, it's only one. If you choose two other points, the run could be two, three, four, five. It really doesn't matter what the run is because zero divided by any number is always zero. And so the slope for any horizontal line will always be zero. Even if you were to use the other method. So let's say if we pick these two points. This point here is 1, 4, and the other point is 3, 4. Let's say this is 5. So using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, y2 is going to be 4, y1 is 4. x2 is 3, x1 is 1. So notice that for a horizontal line, y2 and y1 will always be the same. Therefore, you get a rise of 0. And so the slope is going to be 0. So keep that in mind. The slope for any horizontal line is always 0. Now what about for a vertical line? What is the slope for a vertical line? Now going back to a horizontal line, the reason why the slope is zero is because the run, I mean the rise, is always zero. That's the case for the horizontal line. For the vertical line, the blue line, this time the run is going to be zero. Not the rise, but the run. So if we pick two points, let's choose these two points. Notice that we have a rise of positive 2. But because to get to the second point, you're not moving to the left or to the right. You're just going straight up. The run is 0. And whenever you have a 0 in the denominator of a fraction, the value is undefined. 2 divided by 0, we don't know what the value of that is. So the slope for any vertical line will always be undefined. If you were to use the second method to calculate the slope, the x values will be the same. So this point has an x value of negative 3 and a y value of negative 4. The other point, it's negative 3 comma negative 2. So using this other formula, Let's say this is x1, y1, and this is x2, y2. This is going to be negative 4 minus negative 2 divided by x2 minus x1, which they have the same x values. Negative 4 minus negative 2, that's the same as negative 4 plus 2, which is negative 2. Negative 3 minus negative 3, that's the same as negative 3 plus 3 which is 0. So because we have the 0 on the bottom, it's going to be undefined. So to recap, the slope of any horizontal line is always 0. The slope for any vertical line is always undefined. So that's it for uh, this lesson. Now you know how to calculate the slope of a line. You could use the rise over run method, or you could use m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1.
both methods will work. But if you're a visual person, I think this method is a lot easier than the other one.